Hello, my name is Mallory Simpson, a master's student in the Crop and Soil Science Department at North Carolina State University. And today we will be looking at tailings and how they operate in the DNA for gene editing. Tailings stands for Transcription Activator Like Effector Nucleases. Tailings are an artificial nuclease that can be used to cut DNA at a specific recognition site. The tailings are made from highly conserved repeats originating from transcription activator like effectors, also known as tails. Tails are proteins that are secreted from a plant pathogenic bacteria known as Xanthromomas. The tails bind to a host DNA at a specific nucleotide and is fused to the FOC1 nucleus. The FOC1 functions as a dimer. Each of the repeats in the tau DNA binding domain can differ by two amino acids, which determines which nucleotide it will bind to. We start off with a DNA sequence. Tails are bonded together to make a protein that is bound to specific nucleotides within the DNA sequence. The tau effector repeats that bind to a specific half site on the DNA are fused to a FOC1 nuclease domain. The second domain of the FOC1 nuclease is fused to another stretch of the tau effector repeats that bind to the second half site on the DNA. When tail and transgenes are expressed in an organism, the two FOC1 subunits dimerize, forming a functional enzyme that has staggered cuts between the six nucleotides, leaving sticky ends. Because the two tails dimerize, a double-stranded break in the DNA is created. The double-stranded break can be resolved by non-homologous end joining. However, this can also lead to deletions, insertions, or chromosomal rearrangements. Activity varies depending on the species, cell type, target gene, and nucleus used. So why use tailings? Tailings are widely used in genome editing in plants, which allow for the investigation of gene function and can help generate new characteristics in plants, such as resistance to pathogens and herbicides. Tailings are valuable for the formation of knockout strains and the study of cell mutations in organisms such as yeast, bacteria, and rat embryonic stem cells. Induction of mutations can be permitted through the formation of tailings through open reading frames of viruses. The induction of target alterations in target organisms that can be challenging for genetic mutation like roundworm can also be effective with the use of tailings. Tailings are also involved in endogenous genomic modification in cells of different organisms such as silkworm, crickets, and cows. Tailings are also used in humans for the study of different single gene disorders such as sickle cell anemia, Huntington's disease, and cystic fibrosis. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short educational video on tailings.